What's going on guys? Checking back in with another video for you guys. This time I'm coming to you from the house. We don't have a boat. We've been fishing the bank. Been doing pretty good fishing the bank too. Getting back to the basics. But I wanted to touch on something that I've been seeing pop up a lot in the comment section. And that is knot tying. Now, you talk to 25 different pros, you're going to get 25 different answers when it comes to their go-to knot. So I'm going to throw my two cents in there and give you guys a look, a detailed look at my go-to knot that I tie anytime I'm tying fluorocarbon, anytime I'm tying monofilament, this is the knot that I tie, which is most times. Now, in terms of braided line, I don't tie this knot, I tie a different knot. Um, and that knot's called a polymer, very basic knot. You guys can look that up here uh, on YouTube as well. But the knot that I'm gonna show you today is called the Miller knot. It's a little unique, um, a little bit labor intensive, but in my experience, it's the strongest knot I've ever used. Um, quick little history about the knot. It was shown to me um, by a hardcore saltwater guy, a tuna fisherman. And I get a lot of small influences here and there from the saltwater side of things because in my mind, if these knots and these lines are strong enough to hold up to a 200, 400, Lord knows how big, yellowfin, bluefin tuna, it should be no problem to reel in a 2 to 10 pound largemouth bass. So that's where I get some of my influence. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the knot. To make things a little more simplistic and easy for you guys to see, I went and bought some big old thread right here, right? Some nylon rope, it's relatively thick. You guys should really be able to follow along. And then I'll also go ahead and show you how I tie the knot with some cigar fluorocarbon directly to a bait. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys, we're gonna jump into it. Got some scissors, we're gonna cut this, get this twine, this nylon rope undone. Here we go. All right. Now, y'all don't laugh at me too bad. Again, I wanted to make things really big so you guys can really watch and visualize what I'm doing. I got a toenail clip on a key ring. So we're going to pretend this is our lure. This is the eyelet. This is what we're going to tie to, okay? And so I'm going to jump into it like this here. All right, when tying the Miller knot, what you want to do is you're going to pass your line through the eyelet one time, okay? Now, we're gonna come back the same way we went in. Okay, so we're gonna come back around and we're gonna pass it right back through where we came in. Give myself a little slack to play with there, right? All right. Now, I'm gonna pull my tag in to make this loop much smaller so we can work with the knot. So I'm gonna pull that up like so. So now you can see we got a small loop I got the main line and I got my tag in here. Okay. Once you do this, we're going to take the tag in and we're going to make two wraps around the main line. Okay. One, two. All right. There we go. Now, with this tag in, we're going to go through this loop here at the bottom like so and now i'm gonna secure all three lines in my left hand like so okay so what you have here is a loop that's laying across the main line okay and i'm gonna use my index finger and i'm gonna use my index finger i'm gonna stick it inside this loop and i'm gonna make one revolution around the main line and grab the tag in okay now i know it seems like this is a little bit labor intensive but with a little bit of practice, you'll be tying this knot in seconds. I do it all the time. All right, so here we go. Index finger into the loop, one revolution around the main line, and I'm simply just gonna grab that tag in like so. Okay, now, before I lock this knot completely up, there's something I wanna show you. And this is when I know for sure I've tied this knot correctly. You'll notice right here the number eight. Now it's not a perfect eight, but more or less you can see the number eight right here. That is when I know for certain I have tied this knot correctly. 
And then like any other knot, you would moisten that knot. Most of us are gonna put a little bit of spit on it. You dip it in the water, whatever you wanna do. Just make sure it's moist. And then we're simply gonna tighten this bad boy down. And you're left with the Miller knot. An extremely strong knot. Very similar to the Polymar in regards to it has two wraps holding on to whatever lure or hook that you've tied on. Um, and I, I, I'm a firm believer in having the two wraps around the, the eyelet or, uh, you know, the lure itself. You know, the polar opposite would be a, a clinch knot, which just has one one wrap around the, the eyelet or the lure itself. But that there, my friends, is the Miller knot. And I have had extreme great success with this knot. Very strong knot. Um, again, came from the saltwater guys, tuna fishermen. I believe its origin is down in San Diego, California. Um, and it's been an amazing knot for me, man. I've caught thousands of bass, big ones, using that knot exactly. And I wanted to share with you guys. I saw you guys asking about that in the comment section. And I wanted to make sure I showed you guys how to tie it. So there it is, the Miller knot. I'm going to show you guys with fluorocarbon on the lure also. And uh, my, my toenail clipper just came off, but the, the ring's still there. And that's it. All right, guys, so now I'm going to tie a lure on with fluorocarbon, which is much more practical, obviously. I wanted to use the rope so you guys could get a great visual as to what I'm doing, but it's just not as limber and easy to tie. So I wanted to show you guys with fluorocarbon just how fast and effective this knot can be. It's not a very cumbersome knot, although it seems like so. Again, with a little bit of practice, you'll be tying it in no time. So here we go, the Miller knot, tying it on a prototype MR6. So we're gonna go into the eyelet one time like so, okay? We're gonna come back the same way we came, back into the eyelet. We're gonna create that loop. I'm gonna shorten the loop so I can work with it, like so. Two main wraps around the main line. One, two. Grab your tag in, go back through the loop that you've created, secure all three lines into your left hand, come with your right hand, underneath with your index finger into that loop, one revolution around the main line, grab the tag in, check to make sure you got that number eight right there in place, moisten that knot, tie her down. That right there is a Miller knot, just that quick, I'm ready to go fishing, and I'm 100% confident in the knot that I just tied. All right guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Again, this is a knot that I've been tying for over 10 years. It's extremely strong. It's the only knot I tie when it comes to fluorocarbon or monofilament. So uh, you guys make sure you pick up some quality fluorocarbon. That will help you out in the, in the midst of all of this. But uh, Seaguar makes a great line. Try that Miller knot. I'm telling you, you're gonna have great success and your land and catch ratio is gonna go up because you're not gonna be worried about breaking off. You're gonna be confident in the knot that you tied. So. Appreciate you guys watching, following the channel. Make sure you drop a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. See you.